Well, hey, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Starbound. I don't know what the numbers are like, because I recorded all these at once, but I know this. Eh, I enjoy doing this. I really do. And if I could do it for a living, trust me, I would. Sadly, I can't. It's really out of convenience right now, because I'm looking for work, and uh, not much else going on. <clears throat> but, as long as there's at least one of you watching, or none, whatever, I will do it. I will continue to entertain, because I just care. There's people out there that like what I do, people that I've helped, and I don't want to, I don't want to give up on those people. <clears throat> I want them to know that I care too, and we're doing this together. And they put coal underneath that poison pit. Lovely. Lovely. Not much to report today. Things are still going epically in the Nexus. Oh, there's a rather large coal deposit. Well, I know how we're going to get that one, you see. It's called Organized. There we go. Well, that didn't go very far. Oh, it is draining. Excellent. Let's see how far. Oh, not that far. Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. Watch this. <laughs> My matter manipulator can do all. Boink! Get rid of that too, because you know that's not going to stay. <laughs> I am so smart! I am so smart! S M R T. I mean S M A R T. I know I've done that before, but that was uh, that was very appropriate for the situation. Is this going to? Of course. <clears throat> Put a torch over there, you know. <laughs> Continue to dig, because a couple things here. I got an epic sauce coal deposit. And bandage wrappers! Oh yeah! So that goes there, that goes there, and now I dig. Another day at the office, all in the day's work! No big deal. Oh, I'm gonna have to dig that up without digging out from underneath my feet because I am over a substantially large pit of poison. And I am not about to go down there and screw it up again. What the heck? I just got down there before. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's dig all this out. So I was trying to kind of like dig in an angle to get further down here. And it looks as though I am able to do that now. I don't think that poison is going anywhere. Yeah. It's good. So let's put another torch. Aha! See? Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty! This is what you came for, to see if Sor was ever going to do anything at all. And one thing I can do, I'm going to get rid of this temporarily. I'm going to put a single block like this. There we go. Well, a couple. Open. <laughs> and then. Do -do 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 -do. Boy, yeah. There's no way that's going to fill all that up, but it's going to kill those creatures down there. That's for darn sure. And then all I have to do... Oh, crap! No, no, salesman! <laughs> ah, okay. Get a little peephole here. And... Booyah! And... Booyah! And... Booyah! Oh, what? Oh, I missed. Oh, he's getting bold. He's like, I'm gonna sneak in there on him. Raw oh, alien meat and nothing. Okay, we survived. Cause I was tactical that time. Actually, I built a coward's wall. But hey, you do what you gotta do. I got ten pixels. Man, I got some serious coin now. I don't want to do anything to screw this up. Oh, 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 I'm swimming in poison. They're not good. Not good. Nah. Not no get out Ah these controls suck I'm okay. But why? Alright. More torches. That's what we need. Thirty torches. Totally sweet. Oh I seem to have boned myself. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh do kind of something like this so I can get down here and I think all of this is poison I'm gonna have to go around <laughs> I don't have uh yep yeah, that's gotta happen 
It's gonna take a little detour, poison, don't mind me. Just a little detour. Detour? Twar? Oh, I haven't been counting the way I I came either. The amount of blocks I've gone down, that's probably something I should be uh, observing. So that I know how far I've down I've gone. I don't want to just do this blindly and then not know. <laughs> All right, poison. You just you just stay stay right there, and I'm gonna stay right here, and we're all gonna be hunky dory. Let's see if I find. I think I'm deep enough that I'm gonna start finding some even more epic resources, though. Gee, I hope. That's the plan, anyway. But now we're doing some serious digging, and it is getting very dark. So you know we are super deep. We're getting pickish, are we? It's okay. I brought materials with me to aid in this unprecedented awesomeness that is Starbound. I guess. I don't know. All I ha The only thing they have to do to this game, and I would play it for forever, is if they would let me use my darn arrow keys to move and my, my, control, my right control key to jump. Because that would be the left thumb, see? Uh, if they would do that this game would be like number one in my book at the moment I just don't understand how anybody that claims to be a software and games developer and finally we find some coal could not realize that you have got to make your game compatible for left and right handed people I mean maybe when games first started to come out for PCs when they started getting better hardware and you know they were just as the developer wouldn't really think about that because they were just trying to get games out but now it's it's a given you got to know you got to cover those kinds of bases man you just do and if this message gets some, somewhere where it's supposed to be great if not uh, I don't know I'll still play it but I'm not going to be able to enjoy it as much as I can because I, I can't play it comfortably it's very awkward for me to play like this and I keep screwing up as I've said, and, and if you notice something here, you started to see all these little gaps in the cave. That usually means it's going to open up into a much larger cave system. Just something I've noticed in my experience thus far. Little little edgings like this. And will eventually lead into uh, a huge system where I can dig up all kinds of stuff. And there's all kinds of craziness and danger lurking in the distance. So, yeah. And I think I may have found the opening, even if it's just ever so slight. Oh, and there's a chest underneath that poison. Well, I know what to do about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's called using your brains. And... So, I'll put this down here a little bit so that the poison is... Uh, taken care of and then we can draw ah, ah, there we go draw a little plate for him here and then I'll take all this out Boink. nice 336 pixels I know some of you play and probably have like billions of them but I'm uh, I play conservatively and and you know I I don't want to step in poison because that's just eat a bandage oh and look here's a whole lake of this stuff <laughs> ah! all right Whoa, let's do that. Hmm. Just gonna build a little steps down here and get a torch right next. Oh, this one wasn't too bad. It also doesn't go anywhere. So we're gonna leave that be. I'll grab some of these while I'm at it. Oh, yeah, you can never have too many plant fibers. And I have 64, so I. I'm up another 16 bandages. Uh, instead, we're going to dig through this little sliver of rock here. Or rock, as it were. I hope I remember the way that I came. For some reason, I think that there's another opening under here that, I haven't, that I'm not seeing because uh, it's too dark. But uh, I th I'm thinking so. So, let's put the torchy and try to dig this direction a little bit. Uh, 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 there we go. I had this hunch. 
I don't know why, but... Oh, look, it's sand! We made it to the sand level! <laughs> the sand physics is really cool, by the way. Oh, this is the fine sand, so this stuff doesn't move. But the other kind of sand is great. Because uh, it just moves all over the place. <laughs> oh, no, this is the sand! <laughs> I'm going to get buried, no! I think you can actually suffocate, too, in this stuff. But when you dig it, it actually falls down and piles up. It's pretty neat. And I might as well... Yeah, and you can dig it really super fast. I wonder if you can do it in the... Yeah, see, when you dig it in the back, it doesn't have physics. But the stuff on the foreground definitely does. It's cool. So we made it to the sand, which means soon we're going to find some even more rare resources. And I am just giddy about that, let me tell you. There we go. But it looks as though I've finally run into some solid rock. And I think instead of dealing with that, I'm just going to dig toward the sand because it goes quicker. It's easier to get through. To get through. Through. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. More sand. Oh, hey, sand. Don't mind. Aha. Oh, and there's another poison lake. Well, I'm glad I... Uh, oh, wait, oh, is that the one I... I can't believe I build over that or not. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't even get through. Okay, you go away. Let's get out the sand and dig through the dirt. Because it's faster. Until I get a better pick, man. It's, 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 this is how it's going to have to be. Oh, boy. Play it again. No big deal. Ooh. Now, see, I know digging through solid rock, I'm probably almost guaranteed to find more stuff. And oh, I found dirt blocks now. Well, I suppose that's a good thing. Certainly digs quicker than this uh, this stone, right? But what am I looking for? I've, I've completely lost my sense of direction. And for some reason, I think that this way... Ugh. I'm about ready to cut out my itchy nose segments. Okay, so there's a huge, super massive deposit. Unless this is for me dumping it all. This is all poison. Okay, and that's like... Oh, I just want... Okay. There's two, three chests in there, though, so I gotta get it. And that means we're gonna do a little digging. Straight down, as pretty much as far as I can. But then... I'm not going to dig so far down that I can't get myself back out. And what I'm going to do... Can I get out from there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. Oh, here's gravel. We're saved. We're saved because the gravel works just like the sand, only it goes away even quicker. Also falls down. Let's pop a torch in here. Oh, it's not too much, but when you get huge deposits of it later on the magic will happen don't you worry see this this just oh good 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 there's more dirt uh, 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 there's more sand over there that's a good thing let me just dig down in and grab that I gotta make room for all this poison too because this cave is gonna fill up quick and I'm gonna have to put the lid on it and then find another way to go I figure if I keep dropping the poison down too, I can kind of make it like a big lake of poison that I can use to kill things. Instead of having to fight them, they'll just die in the poison, and then I can just sneak right on by. So, let's see. Dig a little bit more here. And... Oh, good. We're at the dirt. And... What is over here anyway? All these torches are going to die. I don't even know why I'm putting them. Okay, so that's good for now. There's still not going to be enough space. I'm going to have to clamp this off. So what I will do is put a little shield up. <laughs> and then get my matter manipulator. And begin the extraction process. There it goes. Get ready to put the lid on it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it's not even close. No! <laughs> Oh, man. Well, it did drain somewhat, but that's still, like, way, way less than... <laughs> uh. All right. Well, I'd say this is a good place to stop. I'm going to get those chests in the next video because it looks like I did drain it enough after all. So I thank you once again for watching. If you do like these videos, click the like button. 
Apparently it helps. And I'll see you next time. I promise you, more videos on the way. Oh, yeah.